welcome back to another video. So today, I got a really weird idea. And it involves this thing right here. Sorry if the angle is really weird, but I just quickly, you know, put my tripod on my table. But anyways, so um, the other day I was shredding some papers with my dad. Um, we have a sh paper shredder. So I don't know if anyone has seen a paper shredder before, but basically here it is. You put in a paper here and it shreds, and yeah, that, that's a so paper anyway, shredder. Back to my point, the other day I was shredding some papers with my dad, and then um, I got an idea about what if I combine this with some of my slimes because it'd sort of be like the foam beads in foam so yeah I don't recommend you guys doing this because I don't know how it'll turn out but it was just like a fun little experiment because I don't know like what else are we gonna do with these papers besides recycle it <laughs> but yeah um and don't do this because you could get a paper cut which yeah, but anyways, let's just get started. I'm gonna okay. start off with making my slime, and I'm sure everyone, well, mostly everyone, um, knows how to make slime, so, yeah. But no worries if you do not know how to make slime. So basically, first you're just gonna add some of your glue, as I am doing right now. And the next step is to add some of your lotion. And this just makes your slime a lot softer. This is obviously optional. And after this, you will add some activator and Personally, I use one cup of warm water mixed with half a teaspoon of borax. Some people use one teaspoon of borax, but I feel like half a teaspoon um, just allows you to have more control so you don't overactivate your slime. But you can also use some other options. Right, I'm done making a small batch of slime. You still want to keep it a bit sticky. There's some poking noises if you wanted some. Um, just because, like regular um, phloem, you need it to be a bit sticky since you want the beads to stick on, obviously. But, yeah. I'm just going to grab, like, a handful of paper. Like, that much, I guess. Uh, okay. I, I've, like, never done this before, obviously, so I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to act like I know what I'm going to do. Alright, so now I guess I'm going to add some of my slime into it. I'm going to part it a bit. It'd be better if I had a bowl, but you know what? It may look better if I didn't have a bowl. Alright, so my slime is, by the way, like below my tripod, so that's why the camera's moving a bit. But yeah, so I guess I'm ready to put it in. Okay. Alright. Let's just mix it, I guess. So one thing I'm noticing is these slimes are just getting really, really hard because of all the paper. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, yeah, it's really stiff and hard. So I literally have like no words to explain this. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening right now. It's really hard. Like. But maybe if I keep on mixing, then it might turn into something better than this. So I'm going to keep on mixing, probably off camera. Um, but we'll see what happens. But so far, it's not looking too good. Basically, I have been mixing this for a pretty long time, and this is what I'm getting. Um, the slime is turning darker and like sort of gray because of the black print I like the black text print thing um but i had an idea if you like colored your text pink or like a different color it'll make your slime you know a prettier color um but it's you know it's definitely your choice and um since my paper has like tons of random words and just like it's just ugly then like maybe yours will look better if you actually like planned out I guess what your paper is going to look like but anyways here is my slime I don't know if it's a fail or not I mean it's sort of a fail but to be honest it's pretty fun to play with um the papers basically it makes it the slime like not really ripped right it's ripped sort of like paper but like soggy paper I guess you can say um but it's pretty fun to play with I guess uh um, I don't know if you guys should try it if you do please comment down below and say how it turned out because it didn't turn out great for me 
but yeah, it's actually pretty fun to play with though, because it's like a feeling you've never felt before. There's like little tiny pieces. It's not sharp or anything, by the way. It's just like paper. Um, just you know, and when you're playing with the slime, it's just hard. And I feel like it'd be a good stress reliever because it's very, you know, hard and durable. So like, if you want something to rip, then you could use this because it's like, you know, it's stiff. But yeah. So, I guess this is the end of the video. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I like to play with it, so maybe you guys could try it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it feels really boring. Um, but if you did, please hit that like, squishy, what? No, slimy like button, that slimy subscribe button. Comment down below any more video suggestions and things I should mix into my slimes. By the way, if anybody has done this before, I'm really sorry. Um, I haven't seen any videos so far, so hopefully I'm the first one. I don't know, like not trying to be selfish or anything, but like, cause I don't know who has done this before. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye. Wait, I know that um, I already ended the video, but I have been playing with it more, and I just noticed it sort of feels like butter slime. Not really, but like, I don't know. But to those who stayed um, till the end of the video, comment down below, because you are true, like, supporters. Like, thank you so, so much for watching till like, the end end. Um, but it's paper slime. <laughs>